Now, forewarn weather with cutting edge technology for the most up to the minute forecast in Southeast Michigan. Ron's back with us now. You said you only come with good news, but lately every bit of news from the weather department has been a bit of a shock to the system. <laughs> You're just the messenger, right? You know, just the messenger. <laughs> and who doesn't like a little excitement and surprise, you know? Uh, we are going to be cool out there over the next few days. We are starting off the month of May on a wet and cool note. as that track 4D radar, which you can access with the forewarn weather app and on clickondetroit.com, shows the scattered showers moving across the region. We will see these spotty showers lasting throughout the rest of the night pretty much, and then we have more of them returning tomorrow. That's because of this system that is pretty much stalled over the area. It's moving very slowly to the east. It's just rotating around these showers and some of those showers will be mixing in with snow tomorrow. Here's the center of that weather system right there. It is going to be drifting off, but because it's going to take so long, we're going to see multiple days of rain. Clouds and radar forecast showing those spotty showers moving across the area. The clouds increasing tonight. We will get a little bit of a break during the daytime hours tomorrow, but we could have some mixed rain and snow showers moving through the area. You see another chance of that rain and snow moving in in the afternoon and evening hours. So right now, as we look into Southfield, it's 51 degrees. Those winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour, a little bit higher in some locations, 52 in Howell. We're at 52 at Metro Airport, 54 at Mount Clements, 50 in Port Huron. So right now, some of those winds up to about 15 miles per hour in a few places, some of the gusts closer to around 20 miles per hour, and we will see the winds picking up tomorrow and even higher on Wednesday. Some of the gusts that we'll see out there will be in excess of 30 miles per hour over the next couple of days. So this evening, those temperatures falling on down. We have those spotty showers, not seeing the snow just yet. Those winds out of the southwest about 5 to 15 miles per hour, a few gusts higher. Now, I don't want you to get jealous, but here's a picture that's submitted from LPD Mama in Livonia of Jules hanging out over the weekend and doing what Jules does when it's raining outside. You can submit your pictures, of course, and we are going to be seeing the messy weather continuing. This is what we're expecting for tomorrow. Those temperatures in the 40s throughout the day. We are not even getting out of the 40s tomorrow. That high about 47 rain and snow showers mixing in the same for Tuesday, roughly about the same with the temperatures warming up on Wednesday as we see calmer weather. It's going to be drier and then we're going to be mostly dry for Thursday, but a slight chance of a couple of isolated showers popping up. Things looking a lot better as we head into the weekend. Temperatures even trying to flirt with 70 degrees as we get to Sunday. So yeah, I bring good news. I can relate to Jules. Yeah, yeah. you know, just want to hang out and spread your arms out. You know? Yeah, it's definitely that type of weather yeah. for sure. Yeah. Jake